byaratenze ariko uyu mwanya ndumva ntangiye kugarura ibyiringiro ko bishoboka if life was predictable some things wouldn't happen while we are just watching but since it is not we just have to deal with whatever happens to us and accept it He is called Venuste. She is called Ruth. Both have a baby together that Ruth gave birth to a couple of months ago, but it is not as normal as it should be. Ruth says that it all began when their baby was born. It was normally born just like any other babies. But the moment giving birth was a success the baby turned out to be having a very serious issue because from the time it was born until now it has never cried at all when Ruth noticed that her baby was not crying she knew that there was a certain problem and she immediately asked the doctors but she was told that her baby was going to be okay after some time and she shouldn't worry much she trusted what they told her and she took her baby at home venuste and his wife ruth were so happy at the moment that they had got their first child and it was something that they were very excited about friends and family came and congratulated them because it was such a happy day a few days later the baby was still not crying ruth knew that this was not normal at all she decided to try and feed her baby a few minutes late so that the baby even cries due to hunger but that did not happen at all and the baby still did not cry one day they were sleeping at night and all of the sudden ruth had her baby struggling to catch its breath it was like something was strangling him and they wake up as fast as they could and held their baby in their hands but it was not still breathing normally at the moment they did not have any kind of transportation to rush the baby to the hospital and they could not go outside at the same time because the hospital was very far and it was so cold outside Ruth sat for the whole night with her baby in her hands breathing so badly like she had never heard before and she could not sleep for the whole night thinking that her baby was dead or was going to even die anytime soon Mama sat in his room numva umwana neza umwukubaye nkushira aravanga aba aba nkubise gutya mbese in the morning they rushed the baby to the hospital for treatment and when the doctors heard what was going on they immediately transferred her to a bigger hospital because they said that they could not in any way manage to handle such a case they were assisted with an ambulance that they used to take them to another hospital and the baby's condition was still very bad at that moment Upon getting to the hospital their baby was put on oxygen support because the baby was not breathing easily at all and catching air was something that was very hard for it They spent some days in the hospital not knowing what was wrong with their child but friends and relatives visited to see how the baby was doing but there was no change at all 
because the condition was not getting any better. Doctors kept making tests on the baby. And one day, they told Ruth to take her baby to another hospital because that was where they could be able to find out what was wrong with this baby, which was something they needed to know because they had been taking care of it for a very long time. They got an ambulance once again and went back to the hospital that they had recommended them to go to. And upon getting there, the doctors examined the baby's body. And after they had done that, they asked Ruth to come to the doctor's office for a talk. Ruth was terribly scared and she never wanted to think about what the doctors were going to tell her because by the look on the doctor's face, she could tell that it was nothing good but bad news. She decided to act strong and hear it. The doctor told Ruth that her baby was born with a disorder because it had a hole inside its heart and the path that takes blood to the lungs was almost blocked too. And the only thing that was going to save the little baby was surgery. Venuste thought that a mere surgery at this hospital would save his baby, but the doctor continued explaining and he said such a surgery cannot be done by any hospital in this country and it was supposed to be done in a country like India which was very expensive and it would cost them 10 million Rwandan francs, which is about $10,000. Ruth immediately lost her mind because she and her husband were extremely poor that they had never owned even 500,000 and there was no way they could afford paying 10 million for their child's treatment and everything seemed so unfair to them. The longer their baby stayed in the hospital, the bigger the hospital bill got for them. Yet they were not working and getting that money was also another issue. So Ruth went to look for the doctor and talk to him. She told the doctor that there was no way that they could ever afford to get this kind of money. And all she requested was for them to give her her dying baby so that she could take it back home in that condition because they could not afford being at the hospital anymore. The doctor told Ruth that getting her baby off oxygen support was very risky and dangerous since the baby could die immediately and the only way that the baby could be discharged was if Ruth bought the oxygen support equipment and took them home with her which was impossible since Ruth did not have money at all. She did not want to hear anything that the doctor was saying because she was already filled with anger after getting to know what was bothering her baby. A few days later, the doctors gave Ruth her baby after its breathing had improved a little and they took the baby home. <laughs> Upon reaching home, the baby was not so fine, but Ruth kept giving her medicine, which did not help at all. She always knelt down and prayed to God to save her baby. It has been days now 
since they came back home, but their baby's condition does not seem to get any better at all, and they have fear that their baby might die anytime soon. And this is why Ruth is requesting everyone that is watching this video to help her in any way so that they can save their son's life. Thank you for watching Afrimax English. This is Prince. Do not forget to subscribe.